Hello everybody and in this video we will be doing a double page spread out, a spread, layout, layout for a preschool photo. So a class photo, an individual photo and I don't know, some other little fun photos on the side. But it's going to be colourful and fun and perfect for preschool photos. My name is Tatiana, I am from Tatiana Creative Stamping Adventure and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in Australia. I am running Saturday, once a month I do Saturday live Scrapbook Saturday video and this is it. So hello, hello everybody, welcome Jessica, thank you for commenting. See there are people jumping on already. You know you're watching live when you see the red live there. Otherwise this is a recording but still watch it and enjoy and I hope that I teach you something cute and fun and that I inspire you to scrapbook your children's uh, school photos. My goal this year is to scrapbook what they're up to. <laughs> um, so I've only got a few years. My, both my kids attended two years of preschool. My son's in year three. He's the eldest. So I've got a few years of scrapbooking to catch up on and I thought that why not do it during Scrapbook Saturday? And fun, 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 use up some scraps. So let's head to the craft desk and get started. Fabulous. So not an exciting start. I've just got Whisper White paper in my paper trimmer here. I've got two sheets of Whisper White 12 by 12 for our pages. <laughs> I forgot the word for a second, but I'll put them to the side for now. And I want to show you my little scrap box. So my favorite size for card fronts, I cut them in by 10 centimeters wide. And when I'm cutting the, that down with A4 paper, I can get four card fronts from an A4 sheet and it gives me a one centimeter strip on the side. So a lot of these are one centimeters and I feel bad throwing them out, including sometimes white. I go through phases with white. Sometimes I throw out the white and sometimes I don't. But the point is that I don't throw them out. I feel bad and I thought it would be good to use these up. So I've got some really wide pink ones and I thought we'll do my daughter's preschool photos today. So that pink will be perfect. You love using scraps. I hate throwing scraps out so I love the idea of being able to use them. And that pink will go really nicely with these strips. I think that's Coastal Cabana. So we'll pull them out and Ooh, no, that's retired color. Could I feel like we need another color. So I don't have all the colors I want, so I will just cut up a few more. But if you didn't care about the colors that you were using, you could use a whole variety. Um, I want to stick to pinks, yellows, that and purple just simply because of what she's wearing in the photo. Uh, if you haven't watched previously, I don't like showing my photos on live, so I do use bits of cardstock to represent photos, just simply because I want some privacy. Don't want to share everything in the world publicly. But we do need a yellow, and I think so saffron would be perfect. So I'll grab a piece of so saffron cardstock. I need a purple as well. And oh, oh I'm trying to rip open. It's not working for me today. I don't like to take the cardstock out of the plastic so I just, there we go. I do keep it in the plastic. I find it keeps it nice and neat. And that and we will use Highland Heather, where'd you go? Ah, oh, there you are. Let's see. Mm, it's too small. Highland Heather, and I think I need a few more coastal cabanas. Okay, so I've got plenty of those. I'll just 
So I'm cutting these at one centimetre. My pinks are a bit bigger, but I like that contrast. So if you don't have scraps or you haven't kept them, you can cut strips of cardstock, whatever size you want. I'm doing one centimetre. You could vary it um, with half a centimetre, actually. Let's cut some while we've got the trimmer out. Cut some at half a centimetre. And then if you don't really mind the colour scheme, just go with whatever you have cut. One centimetre. This is, what is it? Highland Heather. And I'm picking colours that match the outfit in the photo. So that there's a little bit of kind of tie-in with the design of the layout to the photo. How's everyone's weekend going? Hope you are all well. Anything exciting? I got, it's um, the moment you're only allowed one parent per child at Saturday sport. So it was my weekend to take little man to his soccer game. I was really happy. I like watching it. I enjoy it. Okay, that's enough Highland Heather and just a little bit of what I call So Saffron. Ah, good on you, Elizabeth. I keep, so, I keep all the other scraps with the colour cardstock except for these long strips. Because I find they get bent in there and I don't find them when I want to do this stripey technique. That's why they're separate. Hello, Vicky, how are you? And we're just gonna cut some of these in half. I did start off with my little, my box of scraps, but didn't have all the colors I wanted. And all the pieces do not have to be the same size. It's kind of fun to use bigger and smaller pieces. I'll cut this. Oh, I've got two there. That will not work. Well, it won't be good for the blade. There we go. And we'll do a half a centimetre this way. It's convenient that I can line it up here and here. There we go. Done. Oop. Put the trimmer to the side for a tad. Now, I've got a piece of... Whisper White here, it's from the same stock as the, so it's just over five inches wide and it's 12 inches and it doesn't really matter what size this is. The point of it is that we're going to stick, we're going to use, take a full sheet. These are the adhesive sheets. They came, we had Sizzik brand one previously. These are completely stamping up. You can see I've Got some, got some plastic. And I really love these. They're adhesive back sheets. They're double sided so you can stick them down. And then when you die cut things or um, punch things out, they already have adhesive. It's really good for delicate things. But what's so good with using it with this is that we will be able to create, create the stripy background, which is... Let's see, it's that big. I'm just going to cut the sheet down. Um, stripey background with this so that I'm not gluing each of my individual stripes down because that would take a very long time. Now these come with slits and when you peel back the slit from the slit, the sticky bit remains on the the piece that's slit off. So I'm going to try, let's see if I can peel back. Yes, okay. So I'm going to carefully place this on the table. Might do it in sections. And I'm just using Whisper White here. It doesn't matter what color you use at this point. Ooh. It is very thin adhesive. It 
doesn't matter fully if it's not lined up really but ideally I would like it to be so there we go I've got a little bit of an edge sticking out there which I'll just trim down so that it's not going to stick out And now, my piece of whisker wire is all sticky, and just give that a rub down, and now I can peel back second release paper in strips for revealing all the goody sticky goodness. Is that a word, sticky goodness? Might just try to limit how much I peel back though. Probably better. And now we start creating our stripes. And if you place them diagonally, nobody's gonna notice if they don't become straight. So I always place one down and then start Butting up to the next. I should have placed the first piece more economically, but you know, I was too excited to get started. So you can either follow a pattern or just do whatever feels right to you. I'm trying to butt that up. And this is going to, we're going to cut it down and it will form the basis of our, not the basis, it'll form the decorative part of our scrapbook layout. Yellow next. I feel like I need to do it in a pattern order. And I'm simply just laying it down so that it's meeting up. What's next? Crystal Cabana. Hopefully I've got enough strips. off with the big piece. Fantastic. Again, I like to trim from the back so that I can see where the cardstock is and that way it's not going to be cut. My first trim, because it's harder, I'm going to use this little tiny paper trimmer because I can have more control over that edge. There we go. And now that's a straight edge we can cut. So I'll put it into my trimmer and let's see. Kind of nail marked where it is. Trim that off. Oh, that's nice confetti. Pretty. And we can go around trimming the whole thing. I could trim the right uh, upside down, which would probably make more sense too. But I like to be me. Trim it down a little bit. What is it? I want to trim it down to 
five and a quarter inch. Fantastic. Oh, that would be fun, that edge. I like it. I'm gonna have to use that. Whoa, that's such a cool. I'm gonna use that. I'm not gonna throw that one out. But now we are going to cut this into bits. Let's see, one and a half plus one and a half would be three inches, and then we've still got a little bit. Great, so I'm gonna cut the first two strips in. That's one and a half inches. I think that was one and a half inches. Was that one and a half inches? Yes, it was. And another at one and a half inches. And the glue, the adhesive sheet is really thin, so it's not adding too much weight. Oh, this is so fun. And then, let's see, one, do I have enough for two inches? So, no, I want half an inch now. I want thinner strips. One inch, well, half an inch. A little bit smaller and that's all good my piece of whisper white that I started off with there was one that I already had pre-cut so I didn't want to waste it I thought it would be great to use so now we can add this to our scrapbook pages once again a whisper white and I'm going to add a strip down the bottom and a strip across the top as so and hold on the top one I need to make sure so I'm going to use the playful alphabet dies to create the heading again it's going to be our next step and so let's grab some good paper so I'm going to mark what is that? One, two, three, four. So I'm going to do the top strip an inch down. If you've watched these Scrapbook Saturday lives before, you know that I like to make sure things are even across. Okay, so I'm going to do liquid adhesive glue because it gives me that little bit of wiggle room meaning that I can place it down and move it if it's not in the right spot fantastic and same thing on our second page but I'm going to Oh no, I can't flip the stripes. I was going to say I was going to flip the stripes, but can't. They're not flipping. <laughs> Old fashioned lollipop sticks. Love it. Well, I just thought it'd be really fun because preschool is all about fun, colour, games. And you know, my daughter's got a dress with these colours on in the photos. So I thought I'd pick up on the tones there as well and now for the bottom strips place that there not sure if that's on camera hold on let's the class photo is 10 by 8 and it's got its name oh, it's got everyone's names printed on the photo so I'm going to glue that three quarters of an inch from the bottom you can decide how it works best for you though and this layout and this kind of thing this would work really well with not just school photos let's see we could do fair photos you know if you've gone to a carnival fair and you've got a lollipop 
rainbow lollipop that would be awesome <laughs> just need a few more colors quarters of an inch from the bottom yeah that's what's great about the liquid glue is that if I don't place it I can move it to the right spot so two pages are both exactly the same as I've said already the class photo is uh, 10 by 8, is it eight inches yes 10 by 8 inch photo and it's got all the class names printed right there but actually that's well no, let's place that down we can place that down so I'm going to that will actually be my second page the class photo so because this isn't the photo and it's only a placeholder I'm just going to use glue dots to temporarily adhere this For the purposes of this video so it could fit no I like it on the stripes there we go and for this one oh no for this one because it's the class photo thought it'd be fun to put that one as well I yeah, know they don't line up but I like that I like the quirkiness of that their class photos are big aren't they how big well I'm hoping the others are all about all about this size I haven't measured them all but I have put them all in one spot Oh, I'm trying to peel back that. I don't know why, because I thought it had adhesive sheet, but of course the adhesive sheet is what's holding the colored bits on. So I'm just going to do dots of glue across here. So there we go. Not wasting too much of our scraps here. A really fun edge. No, I didn't measure that out, but there we go. Something as so. Hopefully, I put enough glue there to hold that in place. Now we are going to create the heading, the title, and as I've already mentioned, we're using the these dies. Now where did that H go? What's my... Oh, here it is. Here is the H. And so I'm going to be writing out the word preschool. P. R. E. S. C. H. Double O. Very handy. L and it was 2017. Where's my cheat sheet? 2017. Because there's a lot of color on this page, I didn't want to take away from that. So I'm going to use basic black and try to use up bits from scraps. So that I am not wasting cardstock. Let's see. Let's see if that's enough. Now I did get oh, stuck to the table. I did get my wonderful new. What do we call it? I need to name it. It's the stamping, stamp and cut and a boss machine, which is a mouthful. Find it better to use it on an angle for videos. Do we have all the dies? Aha, uh -huh, we do. And it doesn't matter where they go. 
and what order as long as I've got them cutting out. It all fits nicely in there. And this machine is only available at the moment for two demonstrators, but there are two ways that you could well, the best way, even when it's released to to uh, pub, the public, to customers, that's the word, <laughs> is to join. Join my team if you're an illustrator and you don't have a demonstrator. And then you can get this machine. It re retails for $207, but you can get it for $169. And put my plate on top. And run that through. A little bit of elbow grease. Don't need to move it around like that, but I am just because I want the dies on the side again. Oh. That's perfect cutting and now we're going to cut all those letters once again but this time cutting them out of the brand new what are they called adhesive foam sheet now this is again got two sides that's adhesive and you would peel it back and the idea is that you would stick the cardstock down and then run it through so it's already got the cardstock attached to it but i don't want to do that because then i can't use the leftovers bit so i do it like this and then stick down the letters it's a little bit more work but it does mean that the leftover of this i can add inside a project that needs instead of dimensionals basically that could do with some extra so large areas to be lifted and it doesn't matter it's got bits cut out of it oh look that piece is perfect it's like I planned it stop being sticky there so hopefully that's all the letters There's my. and I haven't had I've done this before I haven't had much trouble lining them up, so I'm quite happy to do it. And I was surprised how easily just put the buddy, I don't know what to call it, any suggestions. I was very pleased with how well it does die cut through. So hopefully the camera is picking that up. They are all, you can see, die cut. I'm just going to take a sip of water. Felicity has yours shipped. So while they're still stuck in here, I'm going to take take back the letters. And it's if you can keep them stuck in here, it's really good. And don't throw out the insides with the O's and the zero because that can be used as dimensional as well. And this kind of just gives you, because you're kind of filling into the negative, it makes it slightly easier to Make sure that this is all nice and even I'm going to write preschool 2017 and I'm going to write it backwards and I'm going to flush it to the edge of ours where's the O's where's the zero there so keep that and by writing things out 
backwards. A 17, not. Zero. Oh dear. Oh dear. I was too confident. Too confident. I didn't push it down too hard. Thankfully. Ooh. There we go. Whew. Crisis averted. Stay there. There. 17. So sometimes what I do is I write it out so that I'm following words in front of me. And then I don't do silly mistakes like I just did then. Or you lay out your letters in front of you first. Now, I might do that with the score. So, S, C, H. Why do I have a P? Oh, preschool. That's right. I was writing the word preschool. Pre, R, pre. School. I feel like I need a dash. I didn't do the dash. Where are the dies? I won't do the dash now, but I will take the equal sign and use half of it. But I will place it there for spacing purposes. Again, do throw that one out. So we'll put the dash there. What do you think? Preschool, dash, no dash, I don't know. One word, two words, hyphenated, it's indecisive. I like the idea of hyphenated. school 2017 and now for photos so her individual portrait is a five by seven. Oh no I suppose with the COVID thing my kids just had their school photos done yesterday Yesterday, yes, I had to think about that. So, what I'll do is I am going to center that between those two. Again, glue dots simply for. I don't really need to use all four corners. So, you do adhere this however you feel is best, because you would be using the photos. Kind of make that an even there. And then, actually I'll trim this one. I also love, oh yes. So you must be in Victoria, Rachel. I love printing mini pictures. So I like to print pictures that are, so I'll print a four by six, but have two photos and cut them in half. And that's what I'm going to do here. Where did I put my trimmer? I want another. So I get 
three by twos. Yes, that's pretty scary stuff there, the lockdown. Hope you're keeping safe. I feel like it needs that fun angle considering the considering the 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 the, the oops, considering the the fun stripes we have it needs that fun angle so one of these could be a there, I love it. Let's stick it down. One of these could be a journaling box. Some fun facts. I'm going to put that one right on the edge there. And yes, exactly, Vicky. So Vicky has commented she does this too with the mini, mini pictures, I guess you could say. Um, it could be of their friends. You know how sometimes they swap photos. We've never done that. But, you know, you get these little cute pictures. So I, I've taken pictures on her first day of the preschool, her last day of the preschool. So that's where they'll go. And then something else during that. So there we go. I'm going to... Oh, my... Oh! Oh my goodness, I've got one more bit that I planned for this layout. So, do not go yet because the other thing I really associate with preschool and school photos is apples. And I'll put that carefully to the side. We have this fun Harvest Hello set, which I haven't used yet and I must, must use. So I thought it'd be fun to put the apple onto the pages. So you make me smile. You make me smile is definitely the sentiment to go. As you can see, I've not even used this yet. Oh, you love the layout? Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm not going to get into fussy details here. Going to use that bit, that bit we want the leaf, the stalk, because you know, I've got to do some stamping. And what was the sentiment? Uh, you make me smile. There we go. These are the bits. And I'm going to do very simple. Now, the ideal thing would be to cut, stamp it out, and then line it all up so that it fits in, but that would be just too clever. One, two, let me do the third, three. Now, do the whole apple here, and once again, bring in some scraps for the other bits. So, the leaf can. I don't know how many apples I'm going to use, so, but I just need to do this layout for my son's preschool photos as well so I figure that they will not go to waste and whoop, because three fit on the because three fit in put those there and I'm going to start with cinnamon cider, dark and light, for the stalks. So I'm starting 
with the dark marker and blending from the top with the cinnamon cider light. Oh, an apple seed. My head is coming in. I'm sorry, <laughs> the camera's so high, I didn't realize. Granny apple green for the leaves. What I'll do is I'll color sections of the leaves in the dark and some sections in the light. So no blending on that leaf, just that's another way to use your blends where you can, particularly with something like this that's quite sectioned, it's kind of fun to have the two tones on their own. Hi Anne, oh, hi Anne, hope that you're well. Now I purely bought this set because I decided to start scrapbooking again and I went, the apple will be brilliant on pages and to be honest it'd be great for teachers gifts at the end of this year to an A plus teacher like who wouldn't want to give that to your teacher and hmm do we want green or red apple give me a thumbs up for a green apple what color blender there we go and granny apple green actually let's do green and red apples so this is the time to use the big end i was going to do a vote and i saw i don't know how to turn can someone comment please to Anne that i don't know how to turn them on during the live and do apologize on my behalf please Oops, wrong end. I'm trying to blend that in. Thank you, Jessica. Can you also type that I will turn it on up? Ah, yes. Will do. Of course, my marker won't work. Ah, thank you, Jessica. You're you're onto it. So I'm just blending that in. And now I'm grabbing This is the ivory. First, uh, and this is the color lifter. So, I'm going to use the color lifter first to color in this middle section of the apple. Then, Add some of the ivory and then back to the color lifter. Now by adding the color lifter first, um, that kind of blends, if I bring that up, it allows the color to blend well. So 
Uh, can someone just type that to Anne? I can't write that out and keep going the <laughs> video. It just gets a lot slower. Joan, thanks for joining. Um, let's do another green apple and then we'll do the third one red. So that's the granny apple green dark. Just some adding in. And then blending that out with the light. Particularly concentrating on where. We have the darker color to add that blend and as you can see it blends in quite nicely thanks Jessica and oh, I was gonna do red so do, do, do. poppy parade to do the green apple half so poppy parade and exactly the same wow that's bright that's all good This is, I very rarely use the brush tip end of my blends, but this is a great time to use them because I've got the big flat area to colour. Trying to blend that bit in. And we're almost ready to stamp. Oh, it's punch, 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 punch. So during the point where I was off air, I did punch my apples and I did say that you can punch the other half of your apple, the half apple with the punch and then you just trim. So now we're going to snip that, snip, excellent. And has seen that. You can put that snip. Now we're going to punch our little leaves, starting with ones that will not get cut. So always start with the bits that will not ruin the punching of other bits. It's not happy. Not happy, Jen. Ah! Oh, come on. I've got to. That punch isn't going down. Ooh. I think I just broke my punch. I'll just take that bit out for now. First time I'm using this punch. There we go. Favorite scissors. Good for, ah, I agree. Can someone say yes they are to Anne? Oh my goodness, what is wrong? It does not want to punch. There. There we go. 
worked out I haven't learnt sign language, though I'd thought about it, but then I'd be using Australian sign language and is in the States. So that would be a miscommunication anyway. Okay, I now need to cut out these. Hopefully I won't have as many issues. One. You should see the mess on my desk. Two. So I've got still a bit of cardboard that I can hold on to, but now I don't. So I'm grabbing a post-it note, touching it there. And it allows me to there. cut that last bit out. Okay, Kayla, you missed the first, well there's a few people who have missed the first bit, but that's okay. It is all about preschool today. And this is our preschool layout, which just needs to be finished off with the apple, the apples. The apple. I'm thinking yes right there love it yes I'm back Elizabeth where is my glue okay so this apple a bit higher then the green apple, I'm going to stamp the sentiment onto the green apple. And then turn. Two. You make me smile. Isn't that cute? You make me smile. Hey Joanne, hope you're well. I've had to break this video into two because even though I plugged my battery in, I didn't actually plug it in properly, apparently. And so the video ended because my battery turned off. A bit embarrassing. And now we've got to add the stalks. Sorry, I'm stopped. Amazing, 12 by 12, hands written, love it, should back, I should back album book. Where's my notepad? And where's the marker? Just use this, thank you. You're playing bra brain, <laughs> okay. Um, catching up on my kids, uh, that's my goal this year. Don't like it that Anne can't hear what I'm saying. And I don't know how to turn, does anyone know how to turn closed captioning on while you're live? I know how to turn it on after the video has published. I don't know how to do it during live. So if anyone could give me that hint, I would greatly appreciate because Anne watches fairly regularly. Doing well. I've been playing Bra Bingo. How does one play Bra Bingo, Joe? There we go. And just to balance things up, we need an apple on this side as well. So I will add the apple down here with the apple slice. <laughs> At least she got it. Better late than never. 
And I'm just making sure I'm placing the glue so that I can get that photo, the real photo in. Just tuck those in. I'll glue them in later when I have um, put the real photo in. So my desk is a mess now, but that is just a suggestion. I hope that's all in. Ah, thanks, Jessica. I appreciate you um, mentioning that to her. So there we go. Preschool photo page layout spread. Very bright, very colourful. You could really do this with anything, but I really think the apples. I love the strips. I love the apples. I love these. I mean, I love everything about it. And I shouldn't be saying it's all um, my work. So I should. I should probably. <laughs> stop talking uh, but thank you so much for joining me I do enjoy the scrapbook Saturdays let me see at the calendar oh yes I know the answer to this one I will be able to do next episode of scrapbook Saturday on the first Saturday of September which is first or second oh no it's the fifth of Saturday the fifth um the fifth of Sat September that's oh my goodness brain freeze oh it's time for tea I think so thank you so much for watching joining me and I will catch you next time on Monday night I will be doing another fantastic fun fold if you wanted to join me these should all be lining up basically anyhow bye for now